Fresh off the Vegas Knights winning their first ever Stanley Cup in franchise history, albeit a really young franchise, right? Like I'm sure a lot of teams like the uh, Nashville Predators, my favorite team, would love to trade places with them right now. But what better day for a new hockey release? Uh, we are breaking 20, 21, 22 upper deck ice hockey. Each one of these boxes contains one hit. Uh, that could be an autograph. It could be a relic. Um, and then I believe there's some sort of fancy numbered card as well. These come in 12 box cases. Uh, each box, as you can see here, coming with one exclusive bonus pack. So we'll have to see what that is. I'm wondering if it's the chance that these exquisite 2021 or 2021-22 exquisite cards. But we'll have to wait and see. I'm actually not really sure. Um, again, 12 box cases. Each box uh, with that pack uh, come with 13 total packs, six cards per pack. And uh, again... Uh, a chance at just one hit in these, um, but you, you do get the uh, the numbered uh, acetate uh, rookie card ice premieres, or at least they used to be serial numbered. So I guess we'll have to wait and see on that as well. Um, kind of excited to see this product as one of my favorites when I was a kid, but it's been uh, a few years since I broke into one of these. These boxes currently running, by the way, at about 120 a box. I got this one from my good friends at Indie Card Exchange. Um, here in Indianapolis. So it looks like it's actually an ice pack. So you can see right there, 20, 20, 21 ice hockey. So we'll have to kind of see what we can get in there, but a chance at, you know, Caprizov, uh, Lafreniere rookies. So nice little bonus, uh, to start things off. We will do that pack first and foremost to see what we walk away with. Hopefully one of those nice rookie cards, Nick Robertson also would be, well, did I just, or Jason Robertson is who has a thinking, but I think we got a Nick Robertson rookie on the back. So that's actually pretty nice. Uh, a couple base cards here, Ajo, Bellows, and we've got a numbered Ryan McLeod. That's a nice one, actually. Uh, McLeod numbered to 999. Not sure what the odds of getting a rookie card in one of those is, but uh, McLeod rookie to start. So that's actually pretty nice. It's got that acetate look to it. And again, numbered to 999. And then Nick Robertson on the back. I thought he was a rookie in the uh, in the 2020 2021 season. It looks like the stats would tell you that he is. So I'm going to assume this is also a Nick Robertson rookie card. This one has like an orange foil board to it. So probably some sort of parallel. Um, just not the uh, the true rookie. That one is card 98 in the set. So that's your base cards on that. Only one of those packs. The rest is uh, all the stuff from, I was going to say... Uh, from this year, but um, no, it's still from last year's stuff because hockey printing has been all kinds of messed up. We got something really shiny coming up. So here's your 20, uh, 2021, 22 design. It's got kind of like a paper matte finish on the side there, a nice little like ed edge to kind of have some like cracked ice look to it. Not cracked ice in the way that Panini doesn't necessarily, but like a crack on the ice. So that's your base, Nathan McKinnon. Uh, Jakob Scheichron, and there is our first, some sort of rookie. Wow, we got a couple different types of parallels in here, actually. So Hendrik uh, Lapierre uh, is this, like, green-looking uh, rookie. That thing is pretty cool-looking, kind of like a green sparkle foil board. Sleeve that just on the off chance. That's special. Looks really cool. Behind that, we've got a Crystals rookie of uh, Dawson Mercer. Nice one there. Um Really, really sweet looking card. Super cool die cut. Uh, don't know a lot about that, but I do know that Dawson Mercer is a decent one to get. So we will top load him. That's really cool looking. You can see this one actually has like more of the Panini cracked ice design to it. Pretty sweet there. And then we have a standard rookie card on the back here of uh, Lane Pedersen for the uh, San Jose Sharks. That one is just in the regular rookie run. So not an acetate. So there are non acetate rookies. Um, it looks like you're probably going to get one per pack because there's another uh, rookie right on the back and we're getting, uh, <clears throat> and they had another one of these green. Um, so yeah, nice one there, Matthew Chuck. There's one of our first. Okay. So we're only supposed to get two of these that said on the box, uh, Christian Reichel on the Winnipeg jets. That one is number two, 1299. That is the ice premieres. Nice looking card. I don't know much about him, but looks very sweet. Um, love the uh, the acetate rookies in this. And then what do we got behind that? Another rookie card uh, for the Canucks there. So these, I'm assuming, might end up being like one per pack. They do look really cool, but uh, nonetheless, it seems like they might be pretty common, which is never fun. 
Nobody likes common stuff. Yeah, see, there's another one. Uh, we do have like an orangish one, though, in this pack as well. So Jason Robertson, though, that's a good one. Love the green on green. Very cool. Uh, one of the best players in the NHL currently would have been the one to get in that 2020-21 uh, pack if we had hit and numbered one of him. That would have been very nice, but we'll take that. And then uh, Colton Pareko, not numbered. Uh, that one is like an orange. At least I think that's orange. I'm partially colorblind, guys, so pardon me if I mess that up. And then Jonathan Dolan, rookie. This one feels very fat. This might be a hit. Could also just be a dummy. It's just a dummy. So that's nice. I was worried kind of when they said like you could get one relic um, that, you know, obviously it would be pretty easy to, you know, maybe find that in a box. Uh, very. Wait, is this a is that an autograph? No, that is like etched onto the card. Very, very, very cool looking card. Anton Lundell, rookies, rookie shrines. Uh, not sure the scarcity on that, but very case hit look and feel to that. Um, it's got that facsimile signature on there. That's not the real autograph. You can see nothing on the back there to signify that that's a real auto or anything. But wow, very cool card. Kind of has like a puck off to the side. Foil board there, some acetate. A lot going on on that. Really like that design. Kudos, Upper Deck. Nice card. Uh, we'll put that one on the top loader as well. Hoping those are are fairly rare. They look like they should be. But so did the uh, the other die cut. And then we got an Alex Turcati, um green and then uh, David Ferrance on the rookie on the back. I don't know what to do with this. We'll just toss it <laughs> to the side and hope I don't hit my dog. All right, so this one also feels fat. This one feels a little bit more hollow, though. So this actually might be a hit. Nope. Yet again, upper deck coming through in the clutch. All right, got another green, Zach Jones, and then another really cool-looking card. Uh, rookie Sub-Zero, Alex Barre Boulet. Boulet, Boulet, Boulet. Uh, center for the Lightning. Cool looking card. That one is number two, $9.99, as you can see on the front. This stuff, a lot of, lot of fun color, a lot of cool looking stuff. The base looks nice. Um, not really sure what kind of value I'm walking away with here. Zach Jones on the, uh, the green speckle. But, um, I at least feel like I'm having a fun time. That's a good sign, right? Um, but yeah, with, you know, with so many parallels and inserts, uh, you know, the 120, if you're a grader and flipper, might not be too uh, too terribly difficult to come back from. Uh, Quinn Hughes base, uh, Gunsel, and then here's our second one, Tanner Lakazinski. Lakazinski, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. If you want to make fun of me, please feel free to do so. I'm not really familiar with him. Uh, on a big team, obviously, or popular team in the Flyers. Uh, 97 birthday, so he's a little bit older. Um, but yeah, nice looking, uh, another one of our ice parallels. That is a fat sleeve. Got a lot, lot going on on my stacks over here. There we go. That looks like a regular one. Okay. All right. And then, uh, Jean Jacquic on the, uh, the back. I'm hoping we get an auto. It did say on the front of the box. I don't know if you guys caught that, but it does say that all the autographs are on cards. So it would be very, very nice to walk away with one of those. Elias Pedersen, Nathan McKinnon on the, uh, pink. Speckle, that one is off-centered. Cool card, though. Colorado Rock or Avalanche rookie. Got another fatty here. And, okay, so I'm wondering if maybe they're fat because, like, they're worried about maybe the exquisite cards fall in the regular packs. A lot going on in this pack. Uh, Dylan Larkin, uh, green speckle out of the gate. We got another one of the crystals, and that is a jersey card. So uh, David Ferrant's going to be the jersey. Jamie uh, Ol Olex Oleksiak? Sure. Uh, really cool card, uh, plays for the, uh, Seattle Kraken almost messed the team name up cause they're still so new. I'm still getting used to them even being in the league, although heck of a debut season or uh, second season. This is their second season, first season. This was their first season. <laughs> the season, see, this is where it messes it up. Uh, this current season is the second season as a franchise last season, which is the season this is from. Was there first. So uh, a hit for my uh, Predators PC, albeit one that I'm not terribly super excited about. Uh, but David Ferrance on the uh, <clears throat> the jersey card relic. Would have loved to, again, have hit an auto. Um, but we are walking away with just a Premier's jersey. Um, I'm going to try and see. It's been worn by the player, but it doesn't say that it's game worn or anything along those lines. We'll go ahead and sleeve that guy. 
There's another one of those fatties. So weird that the uh, the jersey was in one of the the packs with the fat cards. We do have a few fat packs left though, so still a chance to come away with an exquisite something maybe. All right, what do we got going on here? Uh, another oh, there you go, Alex Turcati. Uh, this one's got like a red. You kind of see that? There's like a bounciness redness to the the back um super sweet card a very young player um i believe he's one of the better ones plays for the kings so that looks really nice i'm not sure let's uh do a quick check of the uh the back of the pack wow there's a lot of stuff going on on the back of that one huh um ice premieres autos i am not catching ice premieres out of the uh the corner oh here we go level five level three what was that number two 399 so level two level one premieres green yeah so it's just going to be a parallel um spending way too much time looking at the back of the pack sorry about that guys uh look at that there's a fatty so this might be one of our exquisite cards and it does appear to be one that could be very nice um, nothing really else of note in that. We did hit the Darnell Nurse, uh, on the green. All right. So it looks like we got an exquisite, uh, coming up here. Uh, Maiko Rantanen and then, oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah. Wasn't expecting to hit an auto. Phillips Zadina, but what a sweet looking card. Um, you guys will probably have to kind of tell me who he is. I know the Red Wings are very young right now, so I don't know a whole lot about uh, Philip Zadina, but uh, look at that thing. Nice, like, really fat card, but it's signed on the card. Man, that thing looks superb. <laughs> I was literally about to say that looks superb. A uh, little Inception going on there. Uh, super awesome looking hit, if I do say so myself. Uh, you know, I'd hit the Jersey card. So, uh, obviously maybe it's one auto and one relic and one of the numbers, but the box, uh, or what the odds online say was that it was just going to be one of the type of hits. That thing is just, that's really sweet. Um, again, I don't know a whole lot about him, but, uh, the card itself just magnificent looking. Yeah. Uh, wow. Really, really cool. Really cool card. Um, I don't know if we'll get anything else. Okay, so this was our last fat pack. I was assuming that was going to be an exquisite just because, like, the design looked, like, you know, nice and, like, shiny. Uh, we got another one of those. So these are not terribly rare. Uh, this one is of Taylor Hall. Cracked ice crystals cards. Those are very, very cool. And then a Kalen Addison rookie on the back. I love this set, though. Um, I wonder if there's, like, other colors and parallels but the blue does look really awesome um if i do say so and then last pack here guys so walked away with two hits a nice lower numbered red parallel rookie card um again you know at the, at the current price point you know with all hockey honestly uh, other than the cup um not not terribly uh you know too bad for the price of admission some more base we got a john Tavares on the green and then a max Pacquiao, geez, I should know this because he's on the team that just won it. But anyway, uh, nice uh, orange parallel there. Um, and then we've got the uh, Philip Zadina. So real quick, guys, just uh, taking a look at what we got, doing a quick recap here. We got that Philip Zadina, superb script card, the David uh, Ferrance jersey, a couple of these die cuts, this really sweet looking uh, insert. And that's all she wrote. So I'm pretty happy with that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more breaks, we're always doing a new one every single week. So feel free to turn into the channel and we will chat soon. Thanks, guys. Have a great one. Bye.